In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the correct base routine in Magnet 5. From the main screen of Magnet Field, we'll go into Configure and then Survey. And then we'll edit the GPS configuration. Ensure that the type is RTK and hit Next. Ensure that the base and the rover manufacturer are both Topcon and hit Next. On the base receiver screen, ensure that you're connecting via Bluetooth. You have the correct receiver model and the correct RTK format, uh, which would typically be RTCM3 or CMR. You can enter a base height here, or we can do it when we start the base, and we'll hit next. On the base radio, ensure that we're using the internal radio. When using the Hyper HR, this is the R2 Lite UHF model, and we'll hit next. The radio parameters, ensure that these both match on the rover and the base side. With this configuration here, we have the best over-the-air link rate for the radio, and we'll hit next. On the rover receiver, again, connect via Bluetooth, and you have the correct receiver model selected. The RTK format needs to match that of the base station, and that you have the correct antenna, antenna rover pole height entered, and hit next. Again, ensure you're connecting to the receiver internal radio and the correct model for the Hyper HR is the R2 Lite UHF and hit next and again the rover radio settings need to match the base you'll notice there's no power because it is not transmitting and we can simply hit the green tick here because all the other settings in the config are user definable for the topo and the stakeout routines once we had checked our config, we can hit the green tick and go back to the main screen of Magnet Field and we'll go back into Configure and then Coordinate System, ensuring that we are working the correct coordinate system for our job and then hit the green tick once confirmed and from the main screen we'll go into Edit and then Points. Ensure that we have a checkpoint to check onto on the local site and also we have the coordinate of the point that we are correcting the base to. The idea of the correct base routine is so that you can set up the base arbitrary close to your job site with good open sky and that would have good radio coverage for the site and you can start it arbitrary and then using your rover on a known control point you can adjust the base coordinate to that known control point and you can store the new corrected base position in your job and use that as a new coordinate. And it is also advised to have another local check shot somewhere close to the base on the local site. And from the main screen of Magnet Field, we can go into Connect, ensure GPS is highlighted and base is highlighted, and we can hit the Connect button. We will connect to our GPS base station Bluetooth. Once picked from the list, simply hit Connect. Once we are connected into the base, we can see the GPS symbol at the top right hand corner and we can go into setup and then start base. We can go up into the magnet symbol and go status to ensure that we are seeing satellites and then we can hit back and we can go back into the magnet symbol and we can go config radio. Once in the config radio screen, we'll hit the get channels button. This button will inquire all the radio channels in the receiver and then populate them. And from the drop down channel list, we can select the list that we want to use and then hit start radio. And we can see here the modem has been started successfully. We can simply hit close and then close out of the config radio screen and we'll be back on the start base screen. Now we know the GPS is seeing satellites and we're on the correct radio channel. We can enter in a antenna height if we need to and ensure we select either vertical or slant. Once we have entered in the antenna height, we can simply hit the, the little man with GPS symbol and this will take a raw GPS reading of where the receiver currently is. Typically leave this for about 30 seconds and then the icon will have changed to a stop symbol. So we'll hit the stop symbol to stop recording the coordinate. And once we have done that, we can simply hit start base. 
this coordinate is just an arbitrary coordinate and once we have done the correct base routine we will then have a known corrected coordinate for the position of the base which can be used later on to start the base rather than having to do this correct base routine at the start of each day you will have a known coordinate that you can start the base on. Once you have started the base you will get a warning saying the base is successfully started and do you want to connect to the rover? We'll hit yes. This will mean the software will automatically disconnect from the base Bluetooth and go back to the connect screen and highlight the GPS rover for you. All you need to do now is hit connect, find the rover GPS Bluetooth, select it and hit connect again. And once you're back on the main screen of magnet field, ensure you see the GPS symbol and you want to see the three green bars also indicating that you are receiving radio correction and from the main screen we'll go into setup and then status we can see in the status screen our estimated accuracies that we have a fixed position and also the distance to our base ideally you want to have a check shot that is over a kilometer away in this case we have gone to four kilometers which is right at the end of our job site for our corrected base and if you want to change the radio on the rover you go into the magnet symbol and again config radio if you need to change the radio setting. Now we can simply back out and go back to the main screen of magnet field and we'll go back into setup and we'll go to the correct base icon. Once in the correct base routine you'll see a known point and a topo point. We already have entered the known point into the job and we can't manually enter in here. So you either have to pick it from the point list or the map. Again the topo shot you might have already taken and you can pick it from the map or the point list and hit the green tick. In this case we haven't observed it. So again we'll hit the little man with GPS symbol and that will take us into the topo routine. Once in the topo screen we can give this point a name if we wish and a code making sure our antenna height is correct. We can go up into the cog symbol and we can define the precise and the quick button. In this case the precise is using an average of 30 seconds and the save button is using a 1 second reading. We can accept this config and we can simply hit the precise button which will take an average reading of 30 seconds for the checkpoint and once this is complete we'll hit the save icon to accept the result and now you'll be back on the correct base screen and you can hit the green tick to correct the base you'll get a warning indicating that the topo shot has more than a one second reading and the correct base routine should be made with a topo point which has only a one second GNSS data or a one epoch or a one second result. This means that you cannot take an average reading or 30 seconds or a minute for the topo shot or ideally you can save the point first using the topo routine, taking an average of 90 seconds and storing that as a point, coming into the correct base routine and simply just picking that topo point from your point list. So because of this warning we'll hit close and we'll hit the GPS man symbol again and we'll take a new one second reading and we'll hit save and then we'll hit the green tick and now we have a warning screen saying do we want to apply the correct base and you can see the northing, easting and height offsets to be applied to the base station that was started. We will hit yes to apply these corrections to the base and then we will hit the home symbol to go back to the main screen of magnet field and then we'll go into edit and then points and we can see here that the base station coordinate physically hasn't changed from when we did the initial start base so we'll go back to the main screen of magnet field and we'll go into edit and then raw data and we can highlight the base one mark coordinates item and hit edit and we can see here that these coordinates are correct as per the point list and we can hit the X and we can highlight the phase center coordinates and we can see the phase center coordinates and we can see the corrected base tab so if we go into that this is the corrected base output that we are receiving corrections from and we can see here that the phase center and the mark coordinates are the same and we can hit save to point and we can save this point as the base one corrected position and we can give this an appropriate name and code 
So using the correct base routine offsets that have been calculated using the check shot, we have applied these offsets to the mark coordinate that we started the base on. And this is our new base coordinate that we are receiving our corrections from and that we can also note these down and start the base from this coordinate at a later date rather than having to do this correct base routine. Once we have saved this point, we'll back out to the main screen and magnet field and we'll go into stake and then point and we're going to stake out our local check shot coordinate and we can see here that our results are well within the tolerance and our offsets have been correctly applied to the base and we can commence our topo or stakeout routine on the local job site. It is recommended to do the start base routine before you commence any work and rather than doing the correct base routine at the end of your job, the software will adjust any coordinates that have been observed from that base station before the adjustment and will apply the adjustment after at the end of the job but just to ensure you are using the correct position throughout your entire job it is recommended to do it first and we can simply hit home and then back out to the main screen of magnet field and this concludes the magnet 5 how to video on the correct base routine